Hey, what's going on, everybody? Thank you all for joining me at this time. My name is Shavi Zane, and I'm coming on to bring a message for the chosen who are currently in isolation. Many of you have withdrawn yourself from your loved ones um, because you just feel this need to go within. You feel this need to figure things out, figure out what this thing called life is all about. What is your purpose here? And some of you, you might be growing a little weary or kind of um, tired of being in this isolation phase because you're ready to really get out there to take passionate action towards something and to let your light shine. Um, you are currently under construction. Okay. There's a transformation that is happening right now and you're being called to use this time of isolation to really study yourself, study whatever it is that you feel the need to move towards, whether it's a creative idea, a project, or something that you just want to do, something that is unique to you, something that's different. Um, you're being called to use this opportunity to gather as much knowledge and wisdom as you can um, and to be patient with yourself. There is this energy of being in your head, maybe feeling tired of the type of work that you do or growing bored of it. It's like you're over it. Um, and you're ready to do something that allows you to really bring your creativity forward. But some of you, you might stay stuck or you might feel like you're stuck or trapped in a, in a uh, current position because you've invested a lot of your time, your emotions, your, you know, your energy, your finances into whatever this thing is. And so it's like you're afraid to make a move. But at the same time, your spirit is calling you to take action. You can feel it. You know, what you have invested in, it was not in vain. You want to embrace what you've learned from that and cherish that experience because all of that was a part of your destiny. All of that was divinely fated. So you don't want to beat yourself up for investing in something that you're now ready to withdraw from that. It was very useful for a certain season of your life. But now that you've gone through this transformation, you're different now. There's a different energy that you're projecting. And so therefore, the type of things that you want to engage in on a daily basis, they're just very unique. They're different. And so you're ready to have that spark again. But some part of you is kind of juggling back and forth in this energy of should I or shouldn't I? And it's a little frustrating. But you are on your way to moving towards your dreams and your creative ideas. You are on your way to moving towards those things. And despite the frustration that you might be feeling right now, some of you are just you're feeling as if things aren't growing fast enough. You feel like things are just kind of standing still. And so there's a temptation to not move on it because you feel like it might take a lot of work. It might take a lot of juggling. Um and, you know, doing this balancing act, but you are being called to take advantage of the opportunity because it is going to provide you with emotional fulfillment. This is a gift that's coming from the most high, a new opportunity where you don't have to sit and, you know, feel discontent over those things that's no longer serving you. You can now move towards something that's new, something fresh, something exciting that's going to be emotionally fulfilling for a long time. It's not temporary. So you are being called to be willing to let go of the past, be willing to let go of certain mindsets or certain things that you thought were true. It's time to uh, give yourself permission to start with a clean slate because there's a cleanup that has to happen right now. You're being called to make room for what's important, make the space for something better. Cause for some of you, you're too bogged down with things that no longer serve you. And so because it's still in your energy, there's no room for something better to come through. So you got to make the room, whether it's clearing your mind so that you can have healthier thoughts, clearing out your friend circle so that you can um, welcome in more uh, people that's in alignment with who you're becoming or clearing out your relationship life because you want to welcome in your divine partnership or clearing out a certain perception that you have of how you um, accumulate money so that you can make room for your creative ideas. Whatever it is, you're being called to do a cleanup, make the space for it because you might've been manifesting something for a long time, pouring in a lot of your emotions and your intentions. And you're just waiting. You're like, okay, but I feel like nothing is moving. Well, it's only because 
you got to move some things around. Certain things have to literally be moved around here in the 3D in order for that manifestation to come through. And only you know what that is. For some people, it deals with your physical space, clearing out your physical space so that you can think more freely and have a clearer mind and be more organized and just have the room for whatever that creative idea is. For everyone, it's going to be different, but you know exactly what this means for you and your personal situation. So your emotions, you might be highly emotional, you know, really thinking about some things, but you're being called to open up to change, open up to a new beginning and to work on your confidence, work on your courage so that you can come out of mental conflict and take action, take passionate action towards your goals. It's very important that you give yourself permission to shine at this time. Your dreams will come true as long as you're willing to make the necessary changes in order to make that happen. So I'm definitely feeling like there are a lot of you out there that's just kind of, you're going back and forth in your head. What should I do? How should I do it? When should I do it? I don't know. Should I take action now? Should I hold back? Is it the right time? You got to clear your mind. And once you are free of the double mindedness and overthinking, you will have a clearer head space to know, okay, well, yes, it is time for me to take action. Once your emotions are more balanced, you will know, yes, it is time for me to take action. Don't dwell so much on the past and what you have invested in. You can Start from a clean slate and invest better this time, because for some of you, you invested a lot of your time, energy, finances, emotions into something, but you did not reap the harvest that you thought you was going to get from that situation, person, place or thing, because you didn't start off in the right soil. It wasn't nurtured properly with the right energy, but now you've gone through a transformation. You're more awakened and more enlightened now. And so the, the benefit of starting from a clean slate, starting from fresh soil is that when you plant the seeds this time, you know where to plant them. You know the type of energy to pour into them. You know how to have the right intentions and how to only welcome in the certain people in your space that's going to help to cultivate what you're creating rather than entertaining the wrong types of energies or patterns or, you know, ways of thinking. Like, you know how to really so into your vision this time around because you're more spiritually awakened. And so you don't want to put so much emphasis on what you invested in in the past because the only reason why you've hit a roadblock there and things are no longer moving there is because you didn't have the enlightenment at that time that you have now. So it's exciting. You want to get excited about this clean slate and taking advantage of this opportunity to start brand new because the way that you're going to create and alchemize this energy is totally different from how you used to move. And because it's totally different and it's on a higher vibrational scale, you're going to cultivate and um, attract abundance that's going to be far greater than what you are currently feeling, you know, going back and forth in your mind when it comes to walking away from it. That's small in comparison to what you are, what you have the potential to create now. So you really want to look at it from that perspective. Don't see it as being a loss. See it as being um, an opportunity to learn, to grow. That's what that past thing is. It gave you the opportunity. You invested your energy and time into it. You learned a lot. Cherish what you have learned. All of that was a part of your destiny to lead you up to where you are right now. But be okay with releasing that though. And know that you're not taking losses. You are actually taking gains because you're making room for the new. You're making room for the creative vision. You're making room for more abundance to come in and better opportunities and doors to open up for you. You have to make the space. So don't go back and forth in your head about it. Open up to change. Be okay with stepping outside of your comfort zone and getting ready to really plant towards something brand new, whether it's love whether it's your career path, your new business, new friendships, whatever this is, you went through all of that isolation, all of those transformations, all of those lessons, all of that was to lead you up to where you are right now. 
so that you would understand the value in releasing so that your hands are free to receive. It's your time now. You're being called to take action. So for any of you, for those of you who have been kind of sitting in your head space and feeling stuck and not really knowing, should I move or should I not move? Should I take action or not take action? Yes, go for it. It's your time to shine. It's your time to do your thing. It's your time to get passionate and excited about life again and to do something that's really you can pour your heart and your emotions into and it's going to pour right back into you. Give yourself permission at this season in your life to do what you love. Don't spend any more of your time pouring all of your energy into something that's no longer fruitful. Your spirit having a human experience. And so take chances, take risk. It's not going to hurt you to take risk. You'll learn through taking risk. And this risk right here is worth taking as long as you walk into it with the right mindset. That's why you're being called to release any unhealthy thoughts and any illusions that you thought about making money or about love or friendships, whatever the case may be, clear that out so that you can give yourself permission to cultivate something that's going to be amazing for you. So that's my message. If you find that it resonates with you in any way, please be sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. Let us know what your current situation is so that others can know that you're not in it alone. So that's my message and I'll talk to you all next time.